Good morning, how's it going? I hope that you were doing well. I found that in the last couple of days, uh, I've just not been as productive as I wish that I was. I'm just gonna state what I want to do today. I'm going to work really hard today. I'm gonna get a lot closer to finishing a website project. I'm gonna put out one of our daily vlogs on time, not like really late at night. And I'm going to contact a small group leader about maybe joining their small group tonight. So there, now I've said it. And if you're still seeing it, hearing it, then a lot of it, if not all of it, hopefully all of it happened. Oh, and if I have time, I'd love to get a haircut because this hair is just, well, it's just not working. <laughs> It? There is so much rain out there. I did not know it was supposed to rain this much today. I guess I should have checked the weather. Ugh. And he hates it because he loves running water and all he wants to do is drink running water. But he can't get out there. But if you were to get out there, you would hate it. I promise you. You would really hate it. <laughs> he looks offended, but he's actually pretty content. He just wants to be held and drink water. Buddy, you wouldn't last two seconds, I promise. I did email the small group person, so that's a start. Hopefully they'll email back and they still have room in their group. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. Do you wanna to go to a small group too, Roland? I know you do. <laughs> they need to have a small group for cats, don't they? Yeah, you can talk about the weather, and when's the last time you got your food, and how annoying it is that you can't go outside. Oh, is this your vlog channel now? Go ahead, man. Take it. You got it. Yeah. Work has gone really well, and I feel like I'm being very productive today, and on top of things, it's good, it feels good. I emailed my small group people tonight, for tonight, and uh, he's already gotten back to me. They still have room in the small group, which is good. Sometimes they run out. I gotta go check that out a little bit later tonight. I think it's like 6.30, and it originally was at a coffee shop, but now I think it's at like a boardroom in a hotel. That's a little different, but okay, we'll try it out. But for now, it's time for lunch. Just like that, lunch is served under the name Chipotle. I just don't know if this lunch will ever grow old. Do you ever see yourself getting tired of Chipotle? I don't. Is that bad? Like I, I used to be the person that couldn't eat the same foods over and over. And we eat Chipotle like three times a week. <laughs> oh, and tell so, them the truth. Oh, it hurts. Like I, but I love it. Like I never grow tired of it. It's good. Let's eat. Okay, work, good. I feel pretty good about some things that I did today. Um, feeling productive. The only thing I think that I didn't do that I really wanted to do is get a haircut. Oh, it's a little crazy, but you know, whatever. It's fun and free and wild. What, I don't know, I don't know. It's, eh. I don't have time, I gotta go to my small group. So I'm about to head out right now. Yeah, I don't really know what to expect. I found out that it's actually probably a little bigger than I was expecting. So I guess I do know to expect to expect the unexpected. What? But apparently you break out into smaller groups at some point and it's to discuss Sunday's message, which was really good, it was on forgiveness, which it's, a, it's kind of a very key, pivotal role in Christianity, so should be good. Well, Randy has gone to small group. I did not. <laughs> I didn't want to go, so I didn't. I think he mentioned that this this one he hasn't been to before. I'm sure he covered that. But this is it's a co-ed small group, so I can join him. 
eventually when I want to. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I'll just let him go tonight so he can kind of scope it out and, and decide if he likes it. And then maybe next week I'll go too. Maybe. I am going to do a little bit of painting. I'm all set up for it. As you can see, I set up my painting area, my studio. I have a creative blend of oils going in my diffuser. And I'm going to turn on some nice, just folk music, singer-songwriter stuff, and paint. I have a few custom orders that I need to finish. And I think I'm also just going to get some paint on canvas, basically. I don't have an idea of any particular painting. I'm just going to paint for the sake of painting. Okay, I am at the small group place. And it's a little odd because it is a um, Hilton hotel building. They are renting out a conference room, which I guess it just got too big for the coffee shop that it was originally in. And uh, they moved it here. Maybe someone in the group is connected here or something, or maybe they're renting it out. I have no clue. Maybe I'll find out. Uh, wow, if you have to rent out a boardroom though. I don't know, we'll see. It's always nervous going into uh, your first small group of like when your first time, you know? I'm a little like, oh, there's new people and new church and everything and we'll see. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> I believe my painting session is coming to an end. I still have a few more touch-ups to do on the paintings that I worked on tonight. I'm pretty impressed with the work I did, actually. I didn't start any of them, so <laughs> the ones that I worked on had already been started. So I think that's why I was able to just kind of breeze through them. I had fun. I enjoyed it. It always takes me a while to start painting but once I do I just I fall into it and I just I really love it <laughs> and it all comes back how much I just love art so so much and love being creative so I just need that push in the tush at times to actually get started I'm sure everyone has a similar thing <laughs> that they need help getting started but I did have a casualty with my clothing. I got paint on my playlist shirt that means so much to me. Just kidding. I don't care about this shirt. This is like the first time I've worn it in two years. And then I got paint on my cute easel. But I don't mind this as much <laughs> because I'm a weird, weird person. And I love when paint gets on objects that I use for painting. And that sounds really weird. And if you're OCD, you probably majorly disagree with me, but I think it has something to do with my creative brain. So an example is this mason jar that I use for my water. I absolutely adore the way it looks. Like the way that it has paint splotches and, and it's just covered in muck. <laughs> I love it because it's my painting jar and it's supposed to be covered in paint. Like, I, I adore this jar so much. Another thing is this tray is starting to get gunky, too. And I like that, too. It just, ah, I love all the colors. So, if this ends up with lots of paint on it, I don't have a problem with it. I like it. However, things like clothing and the floor and table and chairs, that should never have paint. <laughs> so, I need to kind of clean up here. I am back home from my small group and it went pretty well. We uh, discussed this past previous message. 
um, from Pastor Chris on Sunday, which was about forgiveness. It was really great. And then we kind of broke, we broke into like groups to discuss it and everything. And um, we discussed some of his points and everything. So after we finished discussing it in groups, we kind of got back together in the big main group and talked and like, so what did you guys think about this? And kind of went over stuff. This is interesting to me. Something that I said, one of the other people who was in our group brought back up and said, this is what I'm leaving here tonight, taking away, like thinking about. And it made me think like, wow, I'm the one who said that and made that person think about that. That's pretty interesting concept to believe that you influence someone in a certain way. That being said, I realize that there is the potential to influence people through this channel and uh, that's just mind blowing and crazy to me. And I just wanted to say thank you for all of uh, your support. Just allowing us to have a platform and talk to people and maybe even influence their mindsets in certain ways. And I just wanted to also apologize that for any times that I have not taken this more seriously because this is a bit of a responsibility, you know, to have a platform that you can actually reach um, a couple hundred, sometimes even a couple thousand people, you know? So thank you guys. Seriously, thank you. And I'm sorry when I haven't taken it seriously. Or I guess got lazy, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, back home. I don't know what the rest of the night holds but I am excited to get to it. Also, and a vlog some, so I'm gonna go check that footage out. We are back where we started, guys. Back here in the office. It's been a good day. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. It's been a bit longer, I think, and that feels good. And this footage was pretty awesome. I'm excited to see her back on the vlogs without me, like, you know, being like, hey, look, it's Anna, and then she says stuff. A lot of you were saying, be patient with her. You're being so patient. You're so great and everything. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, all, it's different for men and women, everything that's happened. You know, I, I've never wanted to force her to do anything with YouTube at all. I try not to, at least. I'm just thankful that she has a creative spirit. A complete, awesome creative spirit. And she loves to show that in several ways. Like her footage that she shot tonight. She shot it on the DSLR camera. And uh, it's really, really good. And I think she's getting more and more inspired to do more creative stuff like that. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed your ride. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button. We're gonna be putting out fun, awesome videos every day. We love you guys so much, and uh, God bless. <laughs>